What are you guys are wearing today? We're trying to rattle to the other side. We are there. We are there. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Yeah, they yeah, they 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 my bandwagon you know roosters. <laughs> you know what's fucking funny, bro? I signed that petition, bro. I signed that petition. You snake, You snake. You snake. Big news this week. We just closed down our website and we're only going to let people in if you're part of the community. Now, why are we doing this? Uh, we just want to do something a little bit different and dive back into our community and support those who support us. So, basically, if we see YKTR and a website like a home in our community, it's our friends, our family, people that are close to us. You guys are welcome in, but not without the passcode. It becomes an experience, it's not just a piece of clothes. It's something that we can really remember you down here and us up there. Yeah, let's fucking throw a boat party, bro. It'd be mad. Nothing better when you nail a good sample, when you see ideas go from like in your mind to a piece of paper to a sample and you just know it's gonna hit. So can't wait for those to come through. All right guys, launch day for us, but just starting up a new podcast called Ebbs and Flows. Our team that was Sporting News Australia, I've got this full production team in here. Got this shitty little camera that, that I'm using right now. And the boys are brought in all the big artillery. You've got one, two, three. Episode of Ebbs and Flow, so pump for it. Uh, I played with Marty back in the day at 20s, bit of a troublesome kid back then, <laughs> but he's turned around and Jai's always been a pleasure to hang around with on the piss, so let's dive into the podcast. It's gonna be a good Oh, let's go. Froth him like a doll, yeah. like, give me the ball. Where's the hiding the ringworm? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't exactly a right decision. Oh, I feel like I should go to rehab, it's pretty fun. He sort of changed the way, you know, I think about life. <laughs> So pretty pumped about ebbs and flows. Sporting News Australia come through about a month and a half ago. I didn't plan on making any more content, but obviously doing the ones with like Aaron Smith, Artie, uh, Quaid back in the day, I can see the type of impact that it had and people get to see behind the mindset of athletes and podcasting is one of my favorite things to do. I love sitting down and interviewing people and learning from them and talking to them. So the Sporting News Australia team come through and just sort of gave me a deal that I couldn't really turn down. It wasn't so much about money. It's more so the fact that they're a worldwide company, got connections to NBA. They've only just really started out here in Australia. That was sort of one reason. And the other one was like the producing team. I really like the guys that were in the podcast shooter with us, like fun. And my only requirement was that you have to let me be me. I want to talk how I want to talk and do what I want to do. And if there was like one inkling, of doubt in their voice, I wouldn't have taken a deal regardless of the money. So, oh, and saying that, I've just decided to end my Dabble partnership, which was a gambling company that I was doing promotion stuff for. I've got a core philosophy in life that your day starts and ends on the pillow. My first core philosophy is when you wake up in the morning, are you excited to get your head off that pillow? And the second core philosophy is when you put your head back down on the pillow, do you have a clear conscience? But when I had a look at myself in the mirror, did it really align with what I really wanted to do moving forward? Now, I'm not an influencer, but I do have a tiny bit of influence, and that's with my voice, and that's with content. And I'm grateful that I've got a platform where people listen to what I say, and me making gambling content and influencing you guys to spend your money on something that potentially can't win. I just didn't want to be in that space, and I don't want to be a guy that gets a DM from, from a guy that says, hey, I've got no money, I spent it gambling, and I can't feed my family, I can't feed my kids this week. I just didn't want to be a part of that. When I look at myself in the mirror, I want to be the guy that says, and I've got this in the past where DMs come through and say, you're the guy who inspired me to start a business, you're the guy who inspired me to start a podcast, you're the guy, Pacific Islander kid that 
I thought university was my only option. You showed me there's a different way. Football players starting to use the leverage now to maximise it. So when they leave football, their ego is not attached to being just a football player and it makes that transition easier. I feel like YKTI should be the brand that inspires. Our core philosophy in business was inspire change through clothing. And I feel like we're slowly getting back to our roots. So see you guys next time. Oh, quick one, make sure you sign up to the list. We're doing something on Thursday that we've never done before. I'll give you a tip.